Hello friends, greets for the day. I welcome you back to the next part of the concurrency Go tutorials. So in the previous tutorials, we have seen how to use Go routines and how to use channels in Go routines. Now we are going to see unidirectional channels in Go routines. So what are unidirectional channels? So far in the channels, we have seen how to read data from the channel, how to write data. That means sending and receiving. Both the operations we have seen through a channel in the previous tutorials. Now we are going to create some of the channels which can do only a particular operation, either sending data or only receiving data. Of course, they are not seems more useful for us but still there is an option to use the channels in places where we just need one particular operation whether send or receive accordingly so we are going to see that thing now i am opening the command prompt zooming for better reliability switching over to the go demo folder I'm going to open my favorite Pico editor, unidemo.go. So here, package main, I'm importing my favorite FMT package and function main is here. So as usual, how we write a go routine, I'm writing a function, I'm naming it as display so inside display as we do in conventional way fmt.println display go routine right so similar to this fmt.println i am printing the same main go routine here so this is a simple code so in order to invoke a go routine how we will call go display so this code will invoke the go routine and main will exit the go routine will not return back so we need to make the entire main go routine to wait for the go for the display go routine to complete so we either need to use sleep or we need to use channel so that the channel will wait for some data to be written and it will read the data and continue the main go routine so now i am going to pass a channel to the display go routine before that we are going to declare so as we did earlier i am going to name my channel as my channel using the make statement i am declaring the same integer channel we created in the previous tutorial so i am passing the same integer channel to the go routine there we are declaring the same my channel channel int so here after the display go routine call i need to read from the channel so whether number it is an integer right so i need to read from the channel so what's the channel here my channel so here i need to write data into the channel 10 it is as simple as this so this code we are already familiar go run unidemo.go sorry i need to print the number it's a string okay i will use printf percentage d comma number yeah see here display go routine and main go routine is being printed with the value so this is what the code we have already familiar with in the from the previous recording so here this particular channel we are creating is a bidirectional channel now we are going to do some unidirectional operations as i told there are two types of operations in a particular channel one is reading data from a channel another one is writing into it so now we are going to see some unidirectional operations in the channels so now we are planning to do some send only channels send only channels are nothing but 
write only channels so we are just going to write data from the channel but we are not going to read that is channel read is read will be impossible from a channel so how to make a send only channel so while declaring the channel itself we need to mention the direction in which the data flows so here what we are doing we are writing so the data will be written the data will be written to the channel so the data is coming towards the channel right so this will be called as send only channel so the channel can send the data it cannot do anything further so let us see what will happen if i compile and run the code see here the line number 10 has some error so what it is telling receive operation from send only type so the channel is a send only channel but what we are doing is we are trying to receive the value at line number 10 which is my channel so we are not able to read from the channel we can only write that is the send only channel so from in send only channels we cannot read data we can just send data to the channels so we cannot read so in send only channels we cannot read from the channel we can just send or write data into it it is as simple as this so the error is at this particular line so number and pay my channel okay so what will happen if i comment this line and this line of course the code will be executed the code will be executed but what happens is the go routine gets executed but main will not wait for the go routine to return back because we have not doing anything to read from the channel because being the channel is send only type it cannot read values so that's why the reason we are not using any send only or read only channel directly so that is the reason here so let us keep these particular two lines alive because even though this statement is wrong because we are reading values from the channel but we are declaring this channel is only able to write data we cannot read the data i have told right we cannot read from the channel which is a send only channel for send only channels we can just send values into it we cannot read the values we cannot receive the values for that we have a separate type of channel which is called receive only channel so let us see how to create a receive only channel here so the, it is as simple as this just we need to change the arrow precedence so receive from the channel receive from the channel so this is receive only channel so if you compile and run the code here now the error is we are doing send operation in the receive only channel earlier what type of the error it was it was we are doing receive operation in a send only channel now we are performing send operation in a receive only channel this is in a different line which is my channel value is being set as 10 in this particular line the error is coming because we are trying to write some value into the channel it is not possible so in receive only channels we cannot write value to the channel we can just receive or read data from it so this is called as receive only channel so if i comment this particular line of code say here i am committing this line of code because this is what the violation is being told because a receive only channel cannot write the data so i am just commenting the line which is causing the violation but but if i run the code you can see the panic deadlock is happening here see here the deadlock is happening why it is happening in the previous video we have already seen whenever a particular channel is being waiting for the data to be read it it must be written right so some data to be written inside the channel if it is intended to read from a channel then some thread or some go routine must write data into the channel but what i am doing here i am disabling the write operation because we are using the receive only channel here but as a side effect what will happen that read operation will keep remain open and it will keep the entire main go routine waiting for until the value is being written but the value the writings the value written into the channel is being disabled now so it causes a deadlock 
because the channel is keep on waiting for the read operation that's why the panic is being reported here it is just as simple as simple as the previous pro tutorials we have seen the same operation is being handled out here so whenever we use a read only channel or a write only channel or a send only channel or a receive only channel we cannot use them as it is throughout our application so we can make use of these particular things in such a way wherever we need a channel as a read only we can use it as read only wherever we we need a channel as a receive only we can use it as receive only so for that we need to convert the channels based on the conditions so let us keep the code as it is now what i am going to do instead of making the full channel as a read only channel or a write only channel that is a send only channel as a, or a receive only channel i am creating declaring initializing the channel as bidirectional but in this particular functions where we are using we declare the channels as per the need here inside the display go routine i need i need only a send only channel because i am just going to write the value inside the go routine i am not at all going to read it so here what we are doing we are converting the channel to a send only channel that means we are sending value to the particular channel here see here i am using the arrow operator which denotes the send only operation so here it is legal so that we are passing value to the particular channel so what we are doing here is we are converting the bidirectional channel which is being declared here as my channel to an unidirectional channel which is a send only here in the go routine so even though if we need something like um, receive only we can put the arrow accordingly in the place wherever we need and we can use the read operation here so as and when we need the behavior of the channel that is whether we are going to write value into the channel or we are reading from the channel we can use the particular type of channels accordingly in the go routines but we need to declare the channel as a bidirectional so it is possible to convert a bidirectional channel to any type so converting a bidirectional to unidirectional it is possible to convert a bidirectional channel to either send only or receive only so let us try to execute the same code declared here so it is displaying the go routine as well as the main so it executes as expected so this is what important here right so what will happen if i try to declare a send only channel and i am intended to use it as a bidirectional channel here it is the other way around so earlier what we did we declared the channel as a bidirectional channel and used them in a go routine as a send only channel now i am declaring the channel itself as a send only channel and trying to convert it as a bidirectional channel so what will happen when i compile and run the code see here cannot use my channel as type channel in argument is display because this channel is being declared as a unidirectional channel so we cannot convert an unidirectional channel into a bidirectional channel remember we can convert a bidirectional channel into unidirectional channel but the vice versa is not at all possible it is impossible to convert an unidirectional channel to bidirectional so this is all we must know about converting or using the channels so i always we need to declare or initialize a channel as bidirectional this is what important so it is a good practice wherever we need we need to use a channel we can use it accordingly whether it is unidirectional or bidirectional whether it is send only or receive only here we are just sending values into the channel so i am preparing it as a send only channel so that the value being passed to the my channel so now this code becomes legal and it executes as expected so this is all about unidirectional and bidirectional channels in go programming language in the next sessions let us see how to use channels with buffers so buffered channels and lot more things we are going to see in the channels and go routines 
so if you have any doubts or any confusions even if you have some good suggestions to improve the presentation please put everything in the comment section click the subscribe button don't forget to click the bell button it will keep you get posted whenever a new video gets updated thank you for watching let us catch up in a next session